Hey YouTubers, today I'm excited to unbox the Panasonic FC1000. I've been waiting to get my hands on this camera for a while. It's the latest in Panasonic's bridge camera lineup with a 1 inch sensor, 20 megapixels, a 3 inch fully articulating screen, an amazing viewfinder, quick autofocus, 12 frames per second continuous, I mean as 4K video, wireless, built in, with NFC, I mean, it's just absolutely loaded. Um, the only competitor to this, as many people may or may not know, is the Sony RX10. It's the only other bridge camera uh, that really has all these kind of features. It doesn't have all that this does, but similar features and a one inch sensor. Uh, the knock on the bridge cameras for a long time was that even though they did have a lot of nice features, the sensor was always very small and the image quality ultimately wasn't too good. This and the Sony basically changed that game. With the one inch sensor, I mean, it's not a pro camera. Would it replace a $2,000 DSLR? No. It's not interchangeable lenses, so it's just one compact unit that basically allows you to do everything. It's not a pocket camera, but even though it's kind of large as compared to some of the, you know, pocket cameras, Compared to a DSLR, it's not. It's about the same size as an entry level to mid-size DSLR, but there are no lenses to carry. So, you know, my game, my game plan was to grab this, get a small bag, enough to hold the camera, you know, maybe a cable or two, a, a battery charger, which I believe this comes with, and, you know, maybe a, an additional micro SD card or something like that. Um, you know, but nothing more than that. I, I'm trying to trim the bulk. I don't want to have a million lenses, having to swap them out. You know, this has some focal range. I mean, 25 millimeters to 400 millimeters, you know, optical is is quite a range. So, you know, I, I think for most situations, I really wouldn't be missing inter interchangeable lenses anyway, or the hefty price tag. So anyway, enough of the rhubarb. Let's uh, unbox this thing. Where is, who has taken the key? Uh, it's actually on the bottom, the flap opens up, let's see. Oh, we got a disc, Silky Picks, uh, probably drivers and software, manuals. This is a USA version. It was bought retail from a popular uh, online store. Let's see. And she is. Yeah, it's kind of bulky, but uh, chunky, I would say. Uh, chunky more than bulky. Let's put this off to the side for now. Take a quick look at the camera. Wow, it's a lot of glass on the lens. Nice, nice big lens. Uh, here's that fully articulating screen. This, uh, I mean, this was, was great. I can face it all the way towards the lens or back or fold it back for protection. I love that. Sony never got that. I don't understand. You know, Sony always has to do things different. Canon has had it. Panasonic has had it for years. Um, it's such a great feature. I don't know why you would make a screen that only went up and down, would only tilt on one axis. I mean, every camera should have this. If it does video, it should have this. Um, it's a great feature. Uh, your usual settings on top, all your different modes, a couple of custom modes, movie mode, Manual, shutter priority, aperture priority, program, I mean, fully automatic mode, the scene modes, you know, all the usual bells and whistles. There's uh, autofocus lock, uh, Q menu button, there's a programmable function keys. This is for uh, continuous shooting speed, uh, single frame, continuous self timers. Um, on the side, we have Oh, this is nice. A on-off button for the optical image stabilization. So you can just, with the flip of a switch, turn it on and off. I would leave it on. Uh, and you can also choose whether the focus ring actually focuses or you can, if you set it to zoom, it will actually zoom the lens in and out instead of using the rocker switch right here. Matter of preference, um, kind of used to the rocker switch, but I'll have to try both out and see which one I prefer. Um, some people like the rocker switch. The record button is in a very accessible spot. It feels very comfortable. It feels, even though it's chunky, it feels like it 
it's very grippable, I would say. It's not going to fall out of your hand, even with one-handed operation. It feels very secure. It, it does have a very plasticky feel to it. And I know that that was one of the differences between the Sony and this. Um, with the magnesium body on the Sony, it definitely probably had a more premium feel. This feels a little bit lens heavy if I'm holding it. Um, to the bottom of the camera, we have a tripod mount, uh, the battery door with the SD card slot here. Uh, they recommend a, a pretty fast uh, SD card for the 4K video recording. I'm actually pairing it with uh, one of these by Transcend. It's a UHS-1 card, 128 gigs. Uh, very fast card, class 10. So, you know, this should, I read reviews on this and it was supposed to be a very good card. I've had Transcend products in the past and have been very happy with them. So I'm definitely gonna pair this with it. Um, what else do we have here? On the right side, the hand grip, it's a plastic door with a mini HDMI, a remote, and it's like audio video out. Uh, I like this wheel where you can adjust settings, like you could probably set it for uh, exposure, compensation, uh, and depending on the mode, I'm assuming it can control shutter speed, aperture priority. It's also a button, so more than likely you can select something, uh, you know, move it to change to whatever you want to change it to and then press it in to actually select. That's a nice feature. Your thumb stays on the button and everything is right there. I really like the way the controls are laid out. It's very, very comfortable. Nothing is in the way. Everything seems pretty accessible on the back. Uh, love this screen. Absolutely love it. And that is going to be awesome. There's a an eye sensor right here. So when you put this up to your eye, it automatically detects that using the viewfinder and shuts off your screen to conserve battery life. So that's good. Very meaty lens. On top we have a stereo microphone uh, and the hot shoe, which is which has this little clip in it to uh, I guess save it during during shipping. But you can attach a, an external flash or maybe even an external microphone if you like. And uh, you have a pop up flash here right underneath the uh, right in front of the microphone. There's a little button on the side here that springs it up. It's nice, it kind of pops up decently high and forward facing, so hopefully that will work out well. Uh, very nice, very nice. My uh, my initial feelings on it, um, pretty nice build. I mean, for it being plastic, it uh, definitely has a plastic feel, but it, fe it doesn't feel like creaky plastic. It doesn't feel like it's going to uh, break very easily. It does feel a little bit lens heavy, I would say. This is a pretty big lens. As you can see here, 25 to 400 millimeter zoom. So that's uh, that's really, really nice. I'm very excited to try this out. Um, I've heard that the 4K video recording on this is just amazing, and I, I can't wait to see how great that looks. On the left side here, we have a mic input. That's a nice feature. I was a little disappointed that it didn't have a uh, headphone input. Um, I really would have liked the headphone jack, rather. And... Um, you know, that's one thing I really, and I was comparing this and the Sony, and um, the Sony's lens is 2.8 throughout the entire zoom range. This starts at 2.8 at 25, but then goes to 4 for the 400. Um, I'm, I heard that it actually starts to move fairly quickly from 25, so I'm guessing maybe when you hit, you know, 50 millimeter, this is already moved from 2.8 and is, you know, maybe somewhere around... 3 or 3.2 or something like that. But you know what? Even at 4, that's not bad at all. And uh, for that extended reach, it's a small price to pay. So I, I don't think that'll be a big deal. I'd rather have the extended range. And uh, that's one of the things that, you know, kind of tilted me towards this over the Sony. Um, not too many, you know, I was a little concerned about the build quality, but I'm not really now. I mean, it's... It is plasticky feeling, but um, feels pretty good. I really like the controls. I'm excited to get using it. Uh, let me put it down for a minute and see what else is in the box real quick. Um, probably chargers, batteries, and the usual mumbo jumbo. Not really too exciting after seeing the camera. Hey, a charger, great. Okay, good. Uh, what do we have here? A lens hood. Ah, oh, nice addition. 
So, very, very nice. Good job, Panasonic. That'll come in handy. What else we got? Some cables. Uh, here's a Lumix uh, camera strap. You got a, a USB cable here. And let's see the battery. Hopefully the battery life is pretty good. I hear it's decent. And I know um, it's easy to pick up some extra batteries online. Um, even the non-branded batteries um, I hear are pretty good. So Panasonic battery here. Uh, it's a lithium-ion lithium -ion battery. 1200 milliamp. 7.2 volts. So, yeah, 1200 milliamp doesn't sound like a hell of a lot, but we'll see how it manages the power. And last but not least, thank God they included a lens cap because that's a lot of glass on the front. You don't want fingers or anything running into that. And it doesn't appear to have a cap string to hold the cap, but eh, not bad though. Seems fairly fairly solid so I don't think it would fall out too easy but I would have liked to see a string to hold it on I may replace this if uh, everything works out well and get one this way I don't have to worry about dropping or losing the cap uh, okay I don't want to go on and on uh, pretty much all I could say about it uh, everyone has seen the specs and um, now you've seen the camera so um, I really am excited to get this charged as soon as I finish this first thing I do is plug in that battery I will follow up with a video on my Thoughts on uh, performance and after I get a chance to put this through its paces, but on initial appearance, I'm liking it. I hope it performs as well as it looks. And I can't wait to get this card in there and check out the 4K video. I might even be using this to record my videos from now on with any luck. So stay tuned. I'll follow up with this and have a great day. Thanks.